Okay, last video, we talked about just making up out of your imagination an abstract design using your five values uh, to create a, an interesting uh, thumbnail. This time we're going to be talking about taking a, taking a real image and zooming in, close cropping onto it to create an interesting, oh, sort of semi-abstract um, design. Um, so once again, uh, draw a, you're going to be doing two of these, but I'm just going to be demoing one of them here. Um, but you're going to draw two thumbnails, uh, boxes, that are three inches by four inches. You're going to use your same grayscale here. And uh, what I've done here is I have, I have a bunch of old archaeology magazines um, just sitting around, unless you guys do, which I doubt, uh, or, you know, maybe a National Geographic or something like that. Um, you can find these images online. And so what I want you to be looking for is an old artifact, fossil, or monument, something like that, that's either made out of stone, rock, maybe wood would be okay, bone, um, fossils, things like that. Uh, and I want it fairly monochromatic. I don't want you uh, to be looking at a lot of color with these images. I want them to be, you know, pretty gray brownish because we're just going to be looking at value. And what I want you to do is zoom into it uh, and crop out. So you're going to be moving around this image. You're not going to draw the whole face here. I want you to zoom up enough to where we can kind of tell what it is. Um, but it abstract it zooms in so close it becomes sort of an abstract image. Now what I have here is our viewfinder um, that came with your kit. You can either use this or you could use a just a cut out piece of paper, uh, you know, with a square cut out in the middle of it. Um, but you want to you want to match that three by four um, ratio there. Now if you're just using a digital digital uh, image, obviously you can just go into your phone's uh, photo editing software or your computer's uh, photo editing software and just crop, zoom and crop where you think is gonna be something interesting. Now, here are the rules for this, or here are the guidelines, I should say. As you're zooming into something, you know, if I zoom into somewhere right there, that's pretty boring. I don't have a lot of things going on there. Just like with your value, uh, or excuse me, just like with your abstract um, uh, thumbnails that you just made up, I want you to try to find that range of five values, just like we have going on down in your value scale that you created. And I want you to find a range of sizes and types of, of uh, shapes so that we can create sort of an interesting abstract uh, thumbnail from a real image. Now here's, here's kind of a cool one down here. We have sort of a range of values there. We have some darks, we have some lights. We can kind of break it up into different values. But what I'm going to do is move this around until I find something that I think is going to be pretty interesting with a wide range of values and a wide range of shapes. Okay, now I've kind of, I moved this around. I moved it to where I think is going to be kind of an interesting abstract image here. And I'm going to use this value scale to create uh, something that's going to look very similar to our just the ones that you just came up with um, out of your imagination without looking at anything. Um, but it's just going to be extrapolated from here. Now the same rules apply where you want five values. So even if you see more values over here or even if you see a little bit less values, you are going to create five values over here based on this. Now, you can manipulate this a little bit. So if you run into any of those compositional no-nos that I talked about in the last video, you know, if you have something that's moving into a corner and you want to change it, you can change it a little bit. That's okay. But for the most part, I want you to, to really try to use this as a reference to create this, um, what's going to look like a fairly abstract image over here that's based on something real. The same rules apply. You want these five values. You want those values even steps apart. Um, they have to be even tone. They have to be hard edges, so there can't be any lines and there can't be any blending in between the steps here when we arrange it here. Once again, just like with your abstract uh, value thumbnails, it has to look as if I cut out pieces of gray construction paper in five shades and I arranged them to make it look like that design there.
Okay. Um, so as you can see here, um, I've really had to simplify. So because you're just dealing with five values down here, you have to make some creative decisions and group some bigger masses to, or some values, a lot of values together into bigger masses. For example, up here in this area, this whole thing was by number two up here. Now there's a lot more values going on in here besides that, but I only had five values to work with. So I had to make a decision. Okay, what am I gonna do here? How am I, how am I gonna group these values together into bigger masses and still create an interesting um, thumbnail here? So uh, you'll notice I spend some time really trying to even out tone because you want this, in order for this to read the best, you need to have those hard edges. That step between four and five is always tricky because it's just, a, it's light values. When I draw a line around this stuff, it's easy to work that line out because there's dark values around it. But between this four and five step, it's a little bit tricky, so it might take a little bit of finagling, a little bit of vascular surgery there to get that to work. But in order to have these read properly, you need those entire fields to be in even tone as much as possible. And where those fields bump up, bump up against each other, you don't want any blending. You just want a hard edge, once again, as if we just had different color of grays here in construction paper and we cut them all out and we glued them all together. So I want you to do this twice and I want you to, so this is the first one. I don't want you to use the same image and just scoot around the image. I want you to find a different image. Once again, we're looking for very simple old fossil or old artifacts and things like that that are made out of stone or bone or, or something like that. Not a lot of color in there. If it has some color, it's okay. But I want it mostly monochromatic so you can really read these values and extrapolate a, an interesting thumbnail based on zooming into one of these artifacts.